Hello everyone, it is uh, Josh here, and this is Voodoo Logs, officially episode 2, since I never uploaded the last ep uh, episode of Voodoo Logs, which was going to be episode 2. Um, coming at you from my house, as you can see, I'm home for the weekend, relaxing a little bit. Uh, it's the evening of uh, Saturday, November 2nd, and this might be a kind of a long Voodoo Logs, I was going to make it a channel update but I don't have my tripod with me to uh you know film it like I normally film it so I'm just gonna do a voodoo logs first person perspective but I wanted to update you guys a little bit on um plans gameplay first before I do that I want to show you these two posters that I bought that I got up on my wall um obviously one for uh Columbia and one over there for Rapture these are uh, two by three foot posters that I got off of Amazon to hang on my wall here, which is pretty freaking sweet. I think these posters are like amazing, really good quality and stuff. You can find them. They're from a company called Poster Revolution, and they have uh, other games, um, cityscapes like this. They also have some sci-fi stuff like Star Wars cities and stuff like that, so go check them out. I wanted to show you guys these posters, but um, but yeah, the update on the gameplay, specifically Batman, and what's going on with that. I've decided that I'm not going to be playing Batman anymore, Arkham Origins. I did direct capture about 13 parts of Arkham Origins and played it. And it was somewhat enjoyable. It was basically a clone of Arkham City as far as gameplay. And I did experience bugs. I experienced like once a guy got stuck in a telephone booth and I couldn't hit him and I couldn't complete a certain mission. And then I had a boss fight that I did and when I finally beat the boss after kind of a long fight, my game froze and I just quit after that because it was frustrating. And um, from the things I've been hearing and stuff about Arkham Origins, like apparently those kind of bugs and game freezes happen during the entire game. And really the game isn't even that good like it's not even worth putting up with all the bugs and stuff and i was thinking you know the, the reason i was doing batman is because i wanted something to be filmed and put up on my channel while we wait for the playstation 4 to be able to do direct capture and i was thinking you know do i want to do a game that probably no one's really going to be interested in watching and a game that i'm going to have to suffer through because it's going to be freezing and stuff and it's not even that good or do I want to do something else? And I decided I want to do something else. And that something else is going to be Grand Theft Auto V. That's what I posted up on Twitter. Um, I have access to it because Dave, my friend, had to buy a new PS3 because his old one broke. And so he bought the PS3 bundle with GTA V. And he is going to be letting me borrow it when he's not playing it. So that's how I have access to GTA V. And I figured that's a long game. It's a game that I can continuously play and upload on my channel for a long time so there, there shouldn't be any problems with as we wait for the playstation 4 to get uh direct capture card compatible um you know i can easily fill that time with grand theft auto 5 which from all accounts obviously is a very very good game and one that i haven't played so i figured that instead of doing you know freaking arkham origins i should do a game like grand theft auto 5 that's a much better game. It would be a more fun playthrough for me. And it's something people might actually watch. Because even though the game's been out for a while, people might be interested in how, in my playthrough of Grand Theft Auto V, considering I've never played a Grand Theft Auto all the way through. So that's my new plans. And what I'm planning on doing is I'm, I'll probably play it some, like, maybe, you know, like Monday or Tuesday night of this week and upload it. Because, uh, actually... I'm on fall break from school this upcoming week. It starts on Wednesday and goes through the following Monday. And I won't be home. I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee, visiting family. So I won't be home. So um, I'll probably play, like I said, for the first couple days of this week coming up and upload that. And then I'll be off the channel for a few days because of, um, because of you know, Nashville. And then I'll resume playing it when I get back. And then we'll have all the PlayStation 4, you know, non-gameplay, like the unboxing of it and all that other kind of stuff when it releases. Now, 
More on the PlayStation 4, again, I've said this in past videos, but I'm not going to be able to do game, launch gameplay of it because it's not compatible yet with external HDMI capture cards. They have to release a post-launch patch. Now, I've done everything I can really do online to search and try to figure out a time frame for when this patch is supposed to come out for the PlayStation 4. Can't find it anywhere. The only thing I can find is that it's supposed to be a post-launch patch. Because of that, I can't make any plans. I can't tell you guys what games I'm going to be doing playthroughs of or anything like that because it's completely up in the air, completely dependent on when this patch comes out for PlayStation 4 so that you can use external capture cards with HDMI because I'm not going to go out and spend all the money for a splitter and all that other kind of stuff when it's going to be rendered useless when the patch comes out. Um, it is confirmed I am getting Call of Duty Ghosts as my game on launch. Um, it's already pre-ordered, and I'll be hopefully getting kills on Shadowfall from Gamefly, so those will be my first two games on the PlayStation 4. Um, you know, I really gotta say I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed that I'm not gonna be able to do launch day gameplay for you guys, because not only does it deprive me of being able to give my initial reactions on these games, but it's my whole initial reaction for, to the console, to using the new controller, the new graphics, all that other kind of stuff. All my first reactions that you guys are going to completely miss because I can't do external um, direct capture. Now, for those of you who might be curious and say, well, doesn't can you record gameplay on the PlayStation itself? Well, there's limitations. It does not have YouTube support, so I can't upload it to YouTube. The only thing you can do is share it, I believe, on like Facebook, which I don't even have a Facebook and stream it to Twitch and Ustream. Problem is, I don't have an internet connection good enough to stream it, and you also um, cannot um, add commentary to videos that you record. So, basically that ain't gonna work either. The only thing I can do is wait for the patch, the direct capture compatibility patch to be released, and I have no idea when that is. Um, when I get more information, if anybody out there gets information on this, uh, you're able to find something that I can't find, let me know. My battery's about to die on my camera, so I'll make it quick, but that's the plan. I'll have more information for you guys coming up when I learn more, and, um, yeah, that's it. So a little bit of GTA 5 coming next week, and then a break, and then, uh, I'll be back with a weekly ritual that's gonna return, and I'll give you guys more information as it becomes available, so... That's basically it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.